turn myself into this little guy. I've wanted to make a video like this for quite some time, but I don't think I was prepared exactly. I just don't think I wanted to, you know, find everything at a certain time period and just like make it. I was gonna wait until I was ready. So that's why I'm making it now. I was going to make something like this this summer, but you know, I, I procrastinated and I was like, I don't really want to do this anymore. So I waited till um, now and I really am excited to do something like this. I will be doing something like this again really, really soon. And um, I just think it, it will be like a really fun project to work on from time to time. I started off with the scythe, um, I got this at Spirit Halloween and usually they have a wider variety of them but this time they only had one and it was very very small and I didn't think that it would do very well but you know, you know, you just gotta work with what you have so I got it and um, I wanted to shade it a little bit because it was just like normally grey so I thought let me paint the bottom uh, black like it has in the show so um, I started with that and um, yeah, uh, I sped it up because the original video was like 25 minutes. I'm like, oh no, I cannot keep it that long. So I sped it up really quickly, try to go as fast as I can. And you can also just fast forward if you don't want to watch me paint it. The wig keeps falling off, and I don't know if this is gonna help it any better. <laughs> when I first got it, it was like so smooth and luscious and silky, and now it's so tangly. I don't know if I'm gonna get this out. I didn't record much of the wig styling process because it was extremely hard to hold the camera while I was trying to like straighten and crimp and just brush out the hair in total because it was really really tangly and but you know I, I eventually got it and you know you can see the results. I have this white turtleneck from Amazon, black ripped jeans from JCPenney's, his blue belt thingy from Bows and Ties, the blue newsboy hat surprisingly from Walmart, the scythe again from Spirit Halloween, and by my choice to go with the outfit, Black Mary Janes.